Hello and welcome to Creating Transactions with Visual Accounts 2032. You'll see under New that there are five buttons in the Business Edition. In the Home Edition, the Invoice button is not available, nor is the VAT code or the VAT button in Edit. To create a new transaction, you can either click on one of these buttons, for example, Pay, okay? Or you can click on New on the menu bar and click on the item you want, for example, Receipt. Or you can press Alt and the underlined letter. Okay, so for example, Alt and X will bring you the transfers. Okay, so you'll also notice that each time there is a slightly different colored background to the entry section. This is an aid memoir to remind you which type of transaction you're entering. So we're going to start with a payment. Now a payment is literally anything that you've made straight out of your bank account, for example with your bank card or by check. Um, immediately not a, a bill or an invoice, but basically something that you've paid immediately. So, for example, we've just bought some petrol from Safeways, which we paid with the bank card. So we'll select the bank account, which is the current account. You'll notice that the reference is automatically entered for you. You can change this if you wish. Okay, you can put anything you like in there. The date is today's date, but let's just say we did this two weeks ago or so on the 1st. Okay, so if you double click on the date field, you'll get a little date picker and you can literally click on and select a date that you wish. In the memo, we'll just type in petrol, an amount, say £45, and then click on tab and you'll notice it's in the customer field. If you remember, we've only got one customer, which was ourselves, me. So we need to add a customer. So let's just put one in. And in fact, this is a, a supplier, Safeways. And um, what I recommend is that for the code for your customers and suppliers, you usually just use the consonants, remove the vowels, but here you'll see I've added the vowel A simply to make it up to six characters because that's the length of the code for the customer. If you now press the tab key on the keyboard, you'll see the maintain codes for your customers and suppliers arrive. Okay, now I'm just going to copy and paste this because it makes it a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. So. Safeways Supermarket and the address. Now, I very strongly recommend that you always put an address in for all your customers and suppliers. This is for marketing purposes. You never know who might want to buy something off you and when you might want to market uh, to them and you'll notice there's a button for mailing the letter to them. We'll cover that in a later video. Once you've completed, remember to click update and it appears in the customers list. Click on close and the cursor is automatically in the VAT field. If you have the home edition, it will actually be in the category field, not in the VAT field. All right, so select VAT. Now petrol is standard rate VAT, so we'll click that and we'll select a category. You'll notice from the standard categories that fuel has already been added, so we'll put that in and we just click update and everything goes in. Now you'll notice that the size of the grid is probably a little bit small. You can't really see the date properly and so on. So you can actually just expand visual accounts and then take the cursor and put it on the headings in the grid and you'll see that the cursor changes from an arrow to a double headed arrow you can click and while you're holding down the mouse button literally just drag a little bit wider until you're happy with the size okay so that's all there is to 
putting in a payment. Let's do a receipt. Say we've had a call out to somebody and <coughs> excuse me. You'll notice that the reference has changed to the second one. We'll again put the date as this time we'll put it for Sunday the 3rd. Okay. And we'll type in uh, call out and 10 Churchill Gardens. Press tab. And our, say our call out charge plus the first hour is £120. Now it wasn't Safeways that called us out, but it was a member of the general public. Now I did say that you should always get names and addresses but sometimes it's not always possible or you don't actually want to keep it so you might want to have a customer code and a supplier code just for general use so here I'm going to type in public and when I press tab because visual account sees that public doesn't exist it opens the maintain codes for me so I can type one in Joe public click on update and you'll see it's in the list. Click on close. Okay, it was a standard rate VAT, but it's not for petrol. And if we look through, there isn't really a suitable, um, as just a general sales one, there isn't really a suitable category. So we can just type one in. So for example, give it the code of 24H hour for 24 hour. Press tab, remember, and the box comes up. Type in, oops, type in a description. Uh, click update, it's in the list, and then click on close. Finally, click on update, and the transaction is entered. You'll notice that it's in the receipt column and not in the payment column. If you go to the bank account and you have a look at your bank account, you'll notice that we started with a thousand. We now have a thousand and seventy-five because we've sent, uh, we spent forty-five pounds on petrol and we've received a hundred and twenty pounds. Okay. Remember that these figures all include VAT because you need to pay that VAT at some point. Is that close? Right. Let's say, if you remember, we started a petty cash account, but it has a zero balance. So we need to put some money into the petty cash account. So click on XFR, and it's coming out of your current account. So collect current account, and it's going into your petty cash account. So collect, select the petty cash account. We'll have the 4th as the date. And you'll notice it's already given you a memo, but you can actually put in a, a further memo, Petty Cash Float. Okay, we'll make this £100, so we type in 100 Okay, press tab. Now, this time it's going to be you because it's an internal transaction. So select me, myself and I. There is no VAT code, and it's very rare that you'll ever have a VAT code on a, a transfer. And the category is always XFR. You must leave this category as XFR because it's there for tax and VAT purposes. And Visual Accounts knows that it must not be used for uh, tax and um, VAT purposes. So click Update, and you'll notice that from your current account, £100 has been taken and £100 has been placed in your petty cash account. If you look at your bank account, you will see that the petty cash account now has a true balance of 100 and the current account is now down to 975 Okay, click close. Now, we'll do invoices. Now, on the home uh, edition, you don't have the invoice button, nor do you have a VAT code field or a VAT button. But I'd like you to watch this part because there's some interesting things that you can do in this section if you so wish. So click on invoice, 
you'll notice that it's selected the current account and notice that the reference is number one even though we were up to number three this is because this is the invoice number not the payment reference it's slightly different you can actually change the invoice number in this field here if you wish okay so let's for example change it we'll click on OK we'll go back and click on invoice and you'll notice that the reference has changed and it's a good idea to put one or something like that at the beginning just to remind you that this is an invoice okay now let's say that Barclays Bank came in on Monday morning and found that there was a flood in the toilet so uh, they called you out and just because you bank with them doesn't necessarily mean that you aren't also a supplier to them okay so you are their customer and they are your customer so let's type something in call out uh, leaking toilet replaced valve okay now here it's going to be slightly different now, if you remember, our standard call-out fee is 120. Now, that's 100 pounds plus 20% VAT, so that's 120 pounds. Now, here we've got to put in both our call-out fee and the replace uh, the part that we actually replaced. Now, let's say that the valve was 15 pounds, and that was X VAT, okay? and that the call out fee x bat is 100 pounds so we'll type in 115 now if we put n after that that's a special code to visual accounts to tell it to add the vat to the amount when we hit the update button so we need a customer and you'll notice that barcloids isn't there so we will type in oops we will type in a code and press tab and again we get the customer codes so this time we need the details so again I'm going to copy and paste these it just makes it a bit quicker because my typing isn't very quick and remember where possible to take a telephone number and or fax number or email address when you've entered it all click update you'll see it goes into the system and then click close right the VAT rate is standard and if you remember the call it's a 24-hour call out so we click on 24-hour call out You'll notice there are three buttons, Pay, Delete and Update, whereas previously you only had Delete and Update. Now they're not paying this today. You're going to send it to them. So you just click Update. Okay, and you'll see that it's gone in to the system. You can see the transaction here. Now you have to replace the valve that you uh, you put into Barcloid, so you'll go to your supplier and get another toilet valve. Now you have an account with them, so they will bill you and you will pay this sometime in the future, say at the end of the month. So here we click on bill, okay, and if you remember the date was Monday the 4th, so let's put in a reference so fluid master bottom fill half inch quiet fill valve okay and let's just say that cost including the VAT 12 pounds 43 again you'll need to add um, a code so here we don't have a code for our supplier so let's type one in again press tab and we get the customer and supplier maintain code so again I'll just copy and paste some details in and I know initially this might be a, a little bit um, boring 
doing all the copy and pasting and putting all the details in but believe me it will pay you lots of dividends in the future okay in the forms of marketing or sending letters and this type of thing to them sending invoices sending payments and payment devices so click on update click on close and it was a standard rate VAT and now we have to find a category and look we've got one purchases stock so let's put it on that because we put it into stock and we'll click update and you'll see it's been entered into the system and because uh, 0000006 is before 10001 it's gone in above it even though the date is the same right so today is the 21st of July and let's say you've received the payment from Barclays Bank for the leaking the call out for the leaking toilet so how do you enter it well the first thing you do is you select the Barclays Bank invoice that you created and double click on it in the grid you'll notice it goes into the the system and this is where you press the play button okay so literally all you have to do to say you've received the money is click on pay okay now here you get a note about VAT if you're on standard rate VAT on the standard VAT system okay you will click no and I always recommend you click no because unless you're on the cash accounting scheme if you don't know what the cash accounting scheme is you click no so click no for standard accounting and you'll notice okay that we have a balancing transaction okay underneath giving and you'll notice that the date has changed to today's date which is the date you received the payment okay so let's say now that you received the payment you're going to pay your bill to uh, reliable heating so you'll find the bill here double click on it and it goes into the transaction and to pay it all you have to do is click on pay you get the message again click on no and it goes into the system and that's all there is to creating transactions in visual accounts okay so remember if that you've finished using visual accounts click on file and exit or you can click on exit at the bottom here right remember to always back up your data it's very important so click yes okay enter today's date okay and that makes it easy use the standard visual accounts backup file format and click save visual accounts will close and all there is to it thank you for watching